We're back to do some shortcuts. If you don't have time to do all the shrines and candles, last video is candles, this video is hero shrines. All right, so we're gonna go to profile one as normal. So that is where we were doing our candles last time. And I'll show you that that is the same place we did candles. <laughs> right here, this is where we did candles. However, right here, you're gonna see we're obviously going to do our skills and you're going to say, what is this area? It should say like unlocks or something. Unlock container unlocks, okay. So as you can see throughout, this is the general style we're going to use. And I do not have the Vestal's fifth and sixth skill. So bear with me here, we are going to get that. Now for the Fledge, I had to say five and six. I don't know if that's new uh, programming because the old ones you didn't have to do this and the new one you do. But for fun, what we're going to do is, um, and the very important thing to know is that um, you got to make sure, and this is just coding, the last thing does not get a comma. So I had to add a comma there. So as you're doing skills, make sure, like if, um, so we're going to make this Vestal 5, Vest, I believe, actually should be capital. Yeah, just go off of some of the other programming already in here. Uh, so let's let's go find the Vestal skills. It's going to be way better back I think that yeah so I, as you can see there it's capitalized says Vess um, just try to follow exactly that I'm not sure if it affects it or not but that's how it's in there and before you go back and forth here a bajillion times just do it but here it's gonna be Vess uh, if you have multiple words you're also gonna need those underscores between there but I believe the oh no divine comfort is in here so yes you are going to need at least one so we're going to assume divine comfort so divine I'm missing this one. Comfort. You can do it how um, it's set up with the flag. I kind of like to set it up like five is this, six is that. It just to me a little easier to find and stuff and understand where you're unlocking via the hero shrine, but you can just kind of generically do them all as you see. So this would be Vestal six, which is mantra. Um, we will talk about the flag and why it's uh, unique. So we're gonna delete this comma, not to mess with programming. There we go. We're going to save this, Control S. We're going to also do that save. Um, so Reclaim is undying in this game, and a Sanguinate is nec not Necrosis, it's Sepsis, I think. Yeah. I don't know why they kept names from the first game, especially Reclaim. Let me quickly look up in the wiki. Wasn't Reclaim the Heal Over Time one? And I think in this game it's Redeem. Maybe I have that backwards. I haven't really looked at the skills yet. But um, it might be more reclaim, uh, re regardless. Let me just, I have my history open, hold on. Um, it's just a side thing. They used the first game's names, but they changed it in this one. I don't know why, so I'm checking Undying. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, Undying is actually reclaim. It is the heal over time, I think. Yeah, yeah, heal. It should be heal over time. Yeah, so, okay, so Undying is actually reclaim. There is no redeem, I don't think. Yeah, there's no Redeem, actually. I guess Redeem was too strong. Fair, which is fair. Redeem was a very strong ability. But uh, but Sepsis is definitely a Sanguinate. Because um, you'll heal 50%, do 6 Blight to the target at max level, doing 6 to 10 damage. So definitely, Sepsis is a Sanguinate, and Reclaim is actually Reclaim, just called Undying in the game. I was messing that up royally, because I was typing in what the skill should have been, regardless. Alright, so this is all saved. I'm going to go open up my Epic Game Store. It's going to ask me, do you want to upload the most recent version? Of course we do. We're going to launch this. Upload to cloud. And you're going to see that I'm going to have skills um, 5 and 6 unlocked for the Vestal. Which, I, like I said, I did not have unlocked before this. Um, what you sh will have to do, I believe, is restart a run and I think I can't remember if I did that or not if you're in the middle of a run where you're going to do a run whatever you're probably gonna to have to restart even if you're at the caravan I don't know it it might transfer through I'm not entirely sure it's just best to say okay I did restart good just to begin a new journey just get it over with you know um yep just go through the yada yadas so I'm out here should be picking cowardice trying to reflection okay seeing that achievement you know it worked because those were the last skills I was looking for so I already know the programming works, and that also answers the question. Yes, you can get the achievement. So 
If you really like the achievements, you're not going to be missing out on the achievements as you just saw it. Also, I don't know if people know this, uh, if you just smash escape and the space bar, it will skip after the first line of dialogue. You probably know that, but I know some people said it's really annoying going through the intro area. I just smash space bar and escape, anything to make the game move a little faster. And we're going to go check out the Vestal now. <laughs> uh, paths, no not path skills, boom we have it, divine comfort, heal all for two, show upgraded, heal all for three, cool down for four turns, holy sh, holy sh, that's, wow, four turns for three HP, I don't know if that's worth it, um, and then mantra, target has consecration, heal 10%, heal 10, 20, triggers the effect of the consecration, okay. Uh, not bad, I guess. They really destroyed the crap out of Divine Comfort for 3 HP. Please, that's a joke. That's one DOT. Regardless. Um, so yeah, but that's all the skills. As we see, we have Undying and Necrosis and Sepsis and all that stuff. So, if you don't have time to grind the candles, you don't have time to grind it. Oh, also, um, if you're worried, you're like, hey, it's cool you get the skills, but do you get the stories? Actually, you do. And right there it is. It's Wrath. That's where you got that. If you just want to replay narration, you can do it at the top here. Um, so, yeah. uh, looks like if it is a playable one, you don't get to do that. So that is something of note.